Special Order 40 is a police mandate passed by the City Council in 1979 that prevents police officers from inquiring about the immigration status of arrestees until after criminal charges are filed. Special Order 40 has become a hot topic in political debates about illegal immigration and it has been recently been linked to gang activity in Los Angeles. But let me be one of the first to tell you Special Order 40 is not connected to gang activity increasing in Los Angeles. There has been no evidence that suggests that Special Order 40 has been linked to increased gang activity or increased gang crime or increased gang murders. In fact, gang crime, gang murders, and gang membership are all down. Yes, they're all down. In the late 1990s, we had 150,000 gang members. Today, we have 80,000 gang members countywide. From, 19, from 1987 to 1995, gang crime and gang murders were at a peak. Since 1995, gang-related crime and gang-related murders are down. And in terms of crime in Los Angeles as it relates to gangs, the worst gang crime we see in LA is Crips fighting Crips, Crips fighting Bloods, and Bloods fighting Crips. So all this talk about Hispanics, illegal immigration, Special Order 40, illegal alien gangs, it's just a bunch of propaganda. Look at the statistics, look at the data, and in 2006, gang-related crime is down. In 2006, gang membership is down. And in 2006, gang murders are down from what we have seen in the past. And in terms of Special Order 40, this is what Antonio Villaraigosa had to say about it. Okay, let me answer your question, and thank you for asking it. Let me speak to Special Order 40 first. Every police chief since Chief Gates has supported Special Order 40. Most of the big city uh, police chiefs across the nation support uh, Special Order 40, and they do because they understand that if people are afraid to go to the police, cooperate with the police, report crimes, uh, be a witness uh, in uh, those situations where crime has occurred, uh, where they don't cooperate, don't participate, crime will go up. Secondly, I didn't make that up, my friend, but the Constitution of the United States of America says it is a federal responsibility. In a city with 9,400 police officers, if all of them were commissioned to be um, immigration and naturalization uh, agents, God help us, we wouldn't be able to address the crime that occurs. Now, having said that, let me also say this. I read in the paper a couple of days ago, if somebody's in jail and they've been identified uh, as uh, here uh, illegally and they've broken the law and they've committed a crime, guess what? they're going to get deported, and rightfully so. Nobody stands for the idea that they shouldn't be uh, held accountable for their actions after they've served the time, of course. So I feel very strongly uh, that uh, we're doing the right thing uh, in supporting Special Order 40, but I feel as strongly if you break the law, you're here legally, illegally, you're black, white, Latino, or Asian, you're rich or poor, you're a priest, a police officer or a politician, you're going to be held accountable for breaking the law. But Mayor, Mayor, you've got the Mayor, aren't you going to walk in both sides of the street because you get to tell immigrant residents here that you're not going after them? These guys and women pick them up right or wrong in the sense they're guilty, send them to the, the sheriff's jail. And the sheriff's got the, the job. First of all, we're not trying to walk. We're, we're trying to. No, we're tr I know what you're trying to talk about. Let me finish. The, you, you asked the question. Let me answer. Let, let. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, it's a nice question to ask, but let's be clear about this. I didn't make up Special Order 40. As I said, every police chief uh, since Daryl Gates has supported. Uh, uh, special Order 40 for the reasons that I just stated. Almost most of the police chiefs across the nation that have large immigrant populations, 
have also supported it because they understand that it isn't the role of the police to enforce those laws and having said that i made it very clear if you've broken the law you're in jail you served your time and you're not here legally that's a different situation so it's not walking two sides of the fence it's focusing our resources in a strategic way you know the, the role of the federal government and again i didn't make up the constitution if you'd like we can all uh, you could try to change uh, the constitution but the constitution gives the federal responsibility for immigration uh, enforcement to the feds not to the cities or the counties rockin it, rockin it, yes, he is rockin it.